Welcome back. Let's uh, turn our attention to health matters for the moment. The liver is the largest organ in your body, and it's, if it's not functioning properly, it could affect your health severely. Tomorrow marks World Liver Day, and to discuss the impact of a negative lifestyle, uh, as well as the need for organ and tissue donation, it's Mina Singh from the Organ Donor Foundation speaking to us this morning uh, from Johannesburg. Mina, hello to you. Uh, and I suppose whenever we talk about uh, liver health, uh, is it still surprising that many of us say alcohol tends to be the biggest issue? Is that still true in uh, today's age? Uh, good morning, Gareth. Uh, yes, alcohol plays a major role in uh, damage to the liver. However, it's not the only thing. There are quite a few other uh, aspects that will affect the liver negatively, but alcohol is a major factor. Let's talk about the South African context then. Apart from alcohol, which we know is a big problem in this country, what else uh, seems to be a, a problem as far as our livers are concerned? Uh, Garrett, uh, contaminated food, contaminated water, um, blood, maybe blood and tissue samples that are contaminated that you come into contact with, uh, drug use, um, that, that's some of the things that I can think of. I mean, hepatitis is obviously uh, also quite a big issue uh, as well. So those are yes. some of the issues around uh, the, the kind of liver conditions uh, we have. So when it comes yes. to uh, your organization, what's your call on World Liver Day? Uh, how do you keep uh, the care of your liver and donating, uh, if needs be, at, at the top of South Africa's minds? Yeah, the ODF is very committed to raising awareness of organ donation and obviously increasing the number of registered donors. With regards to the liver, we emphasize the need for a healthy lifestyle. We emphasize the need for regular medical checkups and to avoid things that damage your liver, like what we mentioned earlier. Also to adopt a healthy lifestyle, avoid alcohol if you can, and if you can quit it altogether, that's all the better. Avoid contact with uh, contaminated substances, Avoid contact with, uh, for example, sharing razor blades, sharing um, toothbrushes, practice safe sex, use condoms, um, yeah, and that kind of thing. So it depends on the community you talk to. I mean, you have to tailor your, your approach mm. to the community that you talk to. Some people live in a community where it's very difficult to get access to clean water and, and, and clean food. As far as the... Um Organ Donor Foundation, what kind of numbers are we talking about? Do you get enough organ donation as far as livers are concerned in South Africa, or is that, is that quite a big issue? Absolutely not. Uh, Garrett, it's actually quite shocking how low our levels of donation is. If I'm talking about organs and tissue in general, if you look at the South African population, less than 0.2% of our population are organ and tissue donors. Mm -hmm. And of that on fragment are liver donors. And livers are very susceptible to damage. So even though you might get a donor, you might not get a liver that can be used. So it, it's actually frightening that of the plus minus 5,000 people on the transplant list annually, less than 500 will actually get a transplant. How big an issue going forward, I don't know if there's been any medical research into this, it may, it may be too soon, uh, COVID-19 and the use of vaccines. I know we're very early in the vaccine conversation, uh, Mina, mm -hmm. but any, mm -hmm. any idea if there's going to be an issue regarding COVID-19 and uh, donating of organs uh, after someone has passed? There's a lot of work going on currently in South Africa and internationally. And nothing has been published yet. Obviously, they need to collaborate and uh, to collate all that information, but it will definitely be something that they will look at. However, whether it, it affects the liver directly and whether it affects a donation of a liver will depend on what happens at the time of death, because obviously they will assess, as they do generally, assess the condition of the organs in question and then only harvest what can be used. Mm. 
Uh, just a final question to you, Mina, before I say goodbye. If someone is watching, you mentioned 0.2 percent of the population is on yes. the organ transplant list. Someone watching this uh, in uh, about 30 seconds or so, just tell us who the ideal candidates are and where can they uh, register to donate their organs if they choose to. Yeah, the ideal candidate would be somebody that's reasonably healthy, free from chronic illnesses, and do not have any moral, cultural, religious objections to donation. If you want to register as a donor, very simple, you can go to www.odf.org.za or you can call the ODF toll free line 0800 as simple as that. Well, I appreciate your time uh, in speaking to us. Hopefully a lot more than 0.2% of the population. Head over to Absolutely. your website and call 800 226 Speaking to us from the Organ Donor Foundation this morning, Mina Singh. Uh, I appreciate your time uh, in speaking to us here on the South African Morning.